What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel where I do music reviews. My name is Aaron, and if you got anything you want me to review, new, old, album, EP, whatever, feel free to leave a comment below letting me know what it is, and it'll be featured on an upcoming request Wednesday. And if you happen to be a fan of deathcore, metalcore, hardcore, heavy metal, basically anything under the metal genre, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe or ring the bell icon, that way you don't miss out on any of my future reviews. It does a lot to help support me and my channel, and it just makes me feel good about myself. Thrice is a post-hardcore rock band from Irvine, California. They started about 1998, and Scavengers is their first single to be released off of their 11th studio album titled Horizons Slash East. And I gotta admit, I haven't really been that big of a fan of Thrice for quite a long time since Artist in the Ambulance, to be to be completely honest. After that, they kind of moved away from that really aggressive, hardcore sound that they had in favor of a more digestible, kind of just hard rock kind of sound. And while they've aged gracefully, it really isn't my thing. Their last album, Palms, it was okay, but I had a hard time making it through the entire album. I became rather bored and it was just kind of unforgettable. Even though it was hyped up a lot, I just couldn't get into it. So I'm hoping that Scavengers is going to be better than that. Scavengers is about frontman Dustin Kenstrew changing his worldviews, which he describes as being toxic. And now he's reaching out to friends and family and loved ones who still hold fast to this kind of old way of thinking. And it really does have some good imagery, specifically in the chorus where it says, Never mind who held you last night, come and take my hand, which I view as kind of like a like a Star Wars kind of thing maybe where even if you're on the dark side and you have friends and people who care about you and you're well taken care of you're still on the dark side and Dustin comes in like Luke Skywalker reaching out his hand ready to ready to take you out of that and bring you into a different way of thinking. The song starts with a descending riff that builds suspense and it has a simple drum passage to it. The vocals have this grunge kind of feel to them while being gentle like he isn't belting anything out he isn't really pushing any of these lyrics on you and they don't really waver all that much as it goes into the chorus i mean they do become maybe a little bit louder and he does become a little bit higher and a little bit more passionate as the riff becomes a little bit more aggressive as well and the drums step it up quite a bit the guitar cuts out leaving the bass and the drums to carry most of the work halfway through the second verse the second chorus is basically the same as the first the music and the bridge is beautiful and as it goes into the third verse it has the same music as the other verses but now the lyrics are the same as the chorus and I know it's kind of a way to like build suspension and tension and kind of build up the emotion in the song when you keep the same kind of music but you change the lyrics especially when you have something as passionate and as powerful as the lyrics that are in this chorus and it's it's interesting way to make it not feel as repetitive but honestly it it kind of feels repetitive this is definitely better than most of the songs that are off their last album palms but it still is it's still pretty basic it, like the writing style reminds me a lot of the same kind of thing that chevelle did for their song self-destructor where they just take a riff and they just kind of run with it and they don't change it a whole lot in the chorus and they don't do a whole lot of dynamic stuff i will say that the bridge like the interlude in the bridge musically is the best part of this song. But when they repeat the chorus three times instead of writing different lyrics for the third verse, it just, it comes off as being lazy songwriting to me. Scavengers does have a good hook, a catchy chord progression, and I gotta admit the guitar tone does sound really good. It just isn't as dynamic as I know that it could be. I mean, even the drum work is fairly basic and it doesn't do a whole lot, doesn't bring a whole lot to the table. It just kind of keeps the beat for the most part. And you know that this band can do a lot more. I feel like they just, they basically, they just played it safe. They played it safe in this song. They didn't think too much out of the box and it doesn't feel like they tried all that hard at all. They just kind of came up with something that's kind of catchy and just threw it out there for us. So with all that said, I gotta give Scavengers by Thrice a 3 out of 5. And like I stated before, I haven't really been all that into Thrice since Artist in an Ambulance, which is almost 15, 16 years ago or something like that. So I want to know what you guys think, especially if you've been a long-term fan and you've been listening to their music for a long time and you still enjoy it. I'm going to leave a link for it down in the description below. If you haven't listened to it yet, go ahead and give it a listen and let me know what you would rate it.
And if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to give it a like. Leave a comment below letting me know what I should view next. It'll be featured on upcoming request Wednesday. If you want to see more, again, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon. It does a lot to support my channel. I appreciate it more than you guys can ever imagine. We're getting really close to that 500 subscriber mark, so I'm getting pretty excited. And I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day or night, whenever you happen to be watching this. And I'll talk to you guys next time. I was trying to make it rely on my parents' eyes to save me